We have a rigorous search to find two missing young men. They were last seen Saturday on a canoeing trip on the Ohio River. This is live video of the search efforts underway right now, courtesy of Chopper 9. The last time anyone saw these young men, they were about 15 miles east of the Meldal Dam, and that's where Nine on Your Side anchor Julie O'Neill just got briefed on the status of the search and spoke to friends of the missing men. Julie. Tanya, day three of this search only strengthens the resolve to find these two young men. Some of their friends talking about doing something drastic to locate their buddies, Cameron and Marty. Tyler Barnhorse combs the Ohio River in a borrowed kayak. Other friends look from land. 20-year-old Cameron Berger on the left and 19-year-old Marty Staniford on the right, longtime friends from Troy, Ohio, just north of Dayton, took a canoe out on the Ohio River Saturday. Herb Layford is the last known person to see them. He was out doing work in his yard in Lavanna. The waves were probably about two and a half feet high, and the wind was up, so they were kind of, and the current was coming down, so they were kind of staying in the middle. It looked like they were having a little tough time. Layford says they eventually got to the side. They were directly across the river, and they were in the calm water. They were fine. But I do not know what happened to them after that. It's just terrible. The Ohio Department of Natural Resources has had several boats patrolling with sonar, other agencies from Kentucky and Indiana joining in. We have boats on the water actively looking for these two, two fellows, and uh, we're continuing that search, and we're not going to let up and, until we can have some success. Going to do everything we can to find them. Close friend Justice Sparrow says he won't leave it to the professionals. I have enough gear to go down to the bottom of the river and find them myself. Um, I'm an experienced lifeguard and I've done a lot of diving in a bunch of places. Um, I planned on going to the, getting in the kayak and going down to the dam and dropping down real quick and see what I can find, see if I can feel anything. I asked Sparrow why such dedication. The love of friendship and the bond that we're going to have forever, whether they're here or not. That dedication touching, but search and rescue teams are not, they tell me, going to let him dive down at the dam, which would be far too dangerous. They're keeping an eye on things and even warning these other friends, wear your life jackets out there in those kayaks as you're searching for them. They're very concerned someone else could get hurt as the water is high. The plan is to keep searching until sundown tonight or sunset tonight. Um, I'll keep you posted if we hear anything. Live at Meldal Dam, I'm Julie O'Neill, nine on your side. Back to you. We know you will. Thank you, Julie.